Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here, welcome back to another Overwatch video. Now, yesterday, a brand new developer update went live, and in that, Jeff Kaplan spoke about the introduction of the server browser, your ability to, of course, search for custom games within your region, as well as a few other things which I'll speak about at the latter part of this video. However, on top of that, the PTR went live, and in that, there were some hero changes. Some of them were minor changes, but for Bastion specifically, there was a long-awaited overhaul. So in this video, I'm going to talk to you guys about Bastion's changes. Now, unfortunately, I can't actually show you guys gameplay, PTR went live last night for a short period of time, but then there were some stability issues, so they had to temporarily take it offline. So for the time being, you can't actually dive into the PTS. Hopefully by the time I've made this video and you guys are watching it, then it might be back up. But for the time being, I'm going to talk to you guys about the changes. Now first up, Bastion has a brand new passive. This passive is called Ironclad, and the idea is that you take less damage whilst you are transformed. That is, of course, either in sentry mode or in tank configuration. The exact percentage for this is 35%, so you take 35% less damage whilst either in sentry or tank configuration. Pretty useful. Speaking of configurations, starting with configuration sentry, whilst you are going into this mode, your deploy time has now decreased from 1.5 seconds to 1 second, so of course it means you are slightly quicker getting into that mode, which will of course help for those kind of defensive plays if you have to sort of defend your payload or your points or whatever, which means you can be in sentry mode a little bit quicker than before. Also, your bullet spread has been increased by 50%. Your bullet spread will now also always be at maximum. So contrary to what it was before, basically the longer you fired, the bigger the spread got. Whereas now, whilst you're in configuration sentry, or while you're firing, your spread is already at max. Your magazine size has also increased from 200 to 300. However, again, whilst in sentry mode, your headshot damage multiplier has been removed, as has your ability to deal critical damage. As for Configuration Recon, whilst in this mode your bullet spread has decreased by 25%, making it a little bit easier to pick off people from slightly more extended ranges, and your magazine size has increased from 20 to 25. As for Self Repair, you can now do this while moving, which is of course super useful if you're low in health, you don't have to worry about trying to find a corner to hide around or potentially putting yourself in danger by healing, you can now move and heal. However, there is an associated resource bar, basically a new UI element similar to, say, Diva's Defense Matrix, that will be present on screen whilst you're self-repairing. This will deplete gradually while you're using it, and of course, when you're not using it, it just builds up passively. So there is, of course, a cap to how much you can heal yourself in one time, but of course, that's associated with the fact that you can now do it whilst moving. Also, your self-repair will now be bound to your secondary fire mode, as opposed to your ability to, that it was before. And if you take damage while self-repairing, you are no longer interrupted. So you can, to a certain extent, heal through the damage. Pretty nice. Finally, for configuration tank, this will no longer grant you bonus armor. Now do of course bear in mind, you do still get the benefits of the new passive ironclad. So whilst in configuration tank, you do take 35% less damage. It just means that on top of that, you don't get the bonus armor you had before. Fair enough. So... That is pretty much it. Those are your changes to Bastion. They are, well, I say live. They're in the PTR. Hopefully, if it goes live again later on, you guys can test it out. But the idea is they're in the PTR at the moment. You can test those out. And at some point down the line, the next few weeks or something, it'll, of course, hit the main game. On top of that, as mentioned, there were a few other things they wanted to talk about as well. Server browser is also in the PTR once it is up and running. The idea with this is you can then search for custom matches that are made public in your region. So you can't, of course, be in Europe searching for games in America or Asia. But if somebody creates a custom game and sets it to public, you will then be able to search for that through the server browser. They're also going to be adding a lot more options to the custom matches, so you can basically have more granularity with your modes. Things like, say, the ability to increase and decrease the speed of the payload, or make different conditions when flags are captured and dropped and whatnot. Speaking of which, because the CTF game mode was so popular in the Rooster event, they're adding capture the flag to custom matches. So if you want to make your own custom CTF matches, then you can. And as mentioned, there are lots more options as well, such as things like turning off hero abilities or tweaking things slightly more individually than before. So hopefully for those of you guys that want to create some truly custom matches, then you can do so. So that's pretty much it. As mentioned, there are full patch notes down below if you guys want to see the changes for the other heroes. Most of them are kind of minor tweaks, nothing quite as drastic as Bastion's overhaul. But if you do want to check them out, then you know where to find them. For the time being, thank you very much for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.